So for you for you to do this uh, tutorial or create your bodies, you need your rulers. Your one inch yard ruler that I have is very good. You also need your twelve inch very firm ruler. It's good for curves and necklines and armhole. You also need your hip curve stick. To begin drafting your front bodies, you will draw a line near the edge of your paper or your fabric. This line is known as the shoulder line. Shoulder line, you see? Now, we're going to draw our vertical lines from your shoulder line as follows. Shoulder line to chest line. Shoulder line to bust line. Shoulder line to waist line. Shoulder line to hip line. Now to get all these lines, you use certain formulas, standard formulas. Um, I will be giving you that in my notes. Now draw out the lines completely as you see me doing. Shoulder line to waistline, shoulder line to hip line. That's what we've just done. These are industry standards, or you can use your full body measurements, but there are formulas to be able to calculate this. So next, we are going to put half of our shoulder measurement, half of your shoulder measurement for example if your shoulder measurement that's your back width is 17 put in 8.5 in the middle of that uh, shoulder measurement line then we're going to put in one fourth of all our measurements we're going to start with the chest line that chest line you're going to put in one fourth of your bust circumference measurement one fourth of your bust circumference measurement should go on your chest line we are not putting anything on our bust line at the moment just on the chest line then put one fourth of your waist measurement on that waistline one fourth of that waist measurement put it on that waistline then finally you put in one fourth of your hips measurement your hip circumference measurement you put it on that paper on that line now we're going to mark those um, we're going to draw lines across those markings and you begin to see the shape of what we are making so we we'll draw a straight line from from the chest line to the waistline then i'm going to use my hip curve is very important tool to have i don't think you can actually do this without a with, without a hip curve i think it just makes it easier so you see i'm using it there placing it from my waist line to my hip line 
it just makes it easier to draw that curve very well so yeah do it that way Next, we're going to put in a marking for our neckline. The standard is usually like 3 inches. I'm using 3 inches here as well. So I'm marking it at that shoulder line at the edge of my paper. That I'm putting a 3 inches mark there. Usually, I like to do this in sequence. I, you know, put all the vertical lines. Then I walk on the neck. Then after working on the neck, and I work on the armhole, it just makes it easier. I like to work by concepts, you know. So what we're going to do now is... We're going to draw broken lines from that middle marking of that shoulder line. Just draw broken lines. You see? From that middle there, we'll just draw broken lines. This is going to help us draft the armhole section of our bodies. Then, from that broken line, we are going to determine the middle of that broken line. We're going to f find out the middle of it. Actually, no. We are going to put in 1 inches for the slope, shoulder slope. 1 inches first. Put in the 1 inches on the broken line. Draw that line to the neck line end point right there. then now we're actually going to find the middle of that line so if you see notice i'm just counting i'm just trying to find the middle so i'm going to put a mark on that middle there put a mark on that middle So after finding that middle in the broken line, we're going, we're going to now um, find you know, a point where we're going to be able to actually draw the armhole um, marking. So what I'm doing there is go, coming in by 0 0.5 inches. That's 0 0.5 inches. That point there is going to help us draw the armhole line. So I'm getting my very form curve this curve is very useful it draws it helps draw the neckline and also the armhole so if you notice i'm placing it in there i want to make sure that i get that mark that i've already put in there so i'm placing it and that line must go through that mark and come to the point where your um, bust point measurement mark was placed right there So now um, I wanted to show you how I actually put in or draw the neckline. I'm using 3 inches for the neckline depth. And I'm going to use my uh, very firm form curve ruler to draw the neckline. That's right there. Yep. So basically we're almost done with this um, front bodice. Um, under the paper for the front bodice, I also have the um, back bodice paper. 
now what I'm gonna do is um, transfer kind of you know put the markings that I have on the front bodies I'm gonna put them put that on the back bodies so that it'd be easier for us so the difference between the front bodies and the back bodies with this um, dartless bodies is that we're only going to um, modify the neckline and the armhole so it's easier to kind of separate it in this case you know um, I, I do always prefer to do it that way so I'm just kind of marking it on you know shift I shifted the front body slightly the paper so I'm putting in red markings on the back body so I can easily draw the line that represents the chest line bust line waistline and hip line so if you notice I'm just putting it there so once I do that I'm taking away the um, paper front paper front bodies paper now I'm just going to draw the lines completely I mean there are easier ways to do the front and back bodies at the same time just find the method that you know suits you this is the most easiest way I think you know the most simplest way so um, so that you don't get confused when you especially when you're starting at the beginning so so I've drawn on the line so I'm gonna put back the paper for the front bodies I'm putting back the paper for the front bodies and it's trying to you know match it again and once we've done that I'm now going to mark the actual point for the armhole the back bodies you know what we did earlier on was for the front body so I'm just going to mark the um, back bodies point see how it looks now we could have done that step you know the front body uh, um, armhole line and the back at the same time maybe I'll do a separate video on how we can easily do that but this is just a very simple video I wanted to show you the method I use so what I'm doing there is um, trying to determine the um, back bodies placement for the neckline for that one I'm putting at it at 1.5 1.5 and draw the line I think I was trying to remeasure this again. I wasn't sure if I used 1.5. I think I used 1.5 or 3 inches. Either way, you know, you can decide to use 1.5 or 3 inches. So I'm using a red marker just to give it a better um, mark for the back bodies um, neckline so you see how it looks so basically that's pretty much it so what I'm doing is I'm using this tool I got this tool off um, online and it's going to help me put in my um, allowance seam allowance so it's a new tool I got um, I just wanted to try it out and basically it's just going to help me put in the seam allowance okay so I'm putting it the right way now it's a 5-8 seam allowance tool it just helps it makes it easier for you to just put in your seam allowance and that's what I'm doing there so 
so I'm just drawing the red drawing a line or seam allowance line for that section that's the hip section see how looking see how nice nice looking is coming up it's easy once you practice 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 almost there so what we're gonna do now is cut out our bodice pattern so what we're gonna do is cut the markings for the back bodice so that you'll be able to cut the front bodice later so I'm just gonna slowly use my scissors and cut out that back neckline cutting then just turn it a bit and It's all cut out now, so um, just um, cut up. Oh yeah, so I have to cut out the neckline for the front bodies. and also the um, armhole line for the front bodies. just gonna label them so that it's easier to find them later front bodies labeled back bodies labeled there you go and that's your dartless dartless very easy you just need to practice thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel I appreciate. Let me know if you have any questions.